let's see how to make custom armor in Minecraft. Alright, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more and in this tutorial we're going to be making custom armor in Minecraft. Now, this is actually fairly straightforward. It is also very similar to making the tools. So, we need another enum that we've made for the tools, right? You might remember this for the tool material and for the armor we need to make the exact same thing just for the armor. So, in the item package right-click new Java class called the mod armor materials. And this is going to implement the armor material interface right here. So we're just we're actually not going to hover over this. What we're going to do is we're going to middle mouse button click on armor material and then press Control H to actually get to see the well normal enum from Minecraft itself. And what we're going to do is once again we're just going to copy everything over and then I'll try to explain some of the contents that are in there. So we're just going to paste this in. We're going to get a few errors. Number one, we need to change the name of the constructor right here to, of course, be the same as the class. And then we just need to change public class to public enum. And then all of the errors should go away. So no worries there. Now, once again, we have a really cool thing. And that is going to be we have all of the vanilla values available to us. So I'm just going to make this format a little bit differently so that we can see all of the values at the same time. There you go. So now we can basically see what are the durability multipliers, what are the actual values so the protection amounts for each of the different pieces of armor and all of the other values as well. We can easily change the values for our own armor around the actual vanilla values as well. And that was very important about this integer array right here is that it goes from bottom to top. So this is the actual protection amount for the boots, leggings, chest plate, helmet. So that's the way that this is basically structured. So that's kind of important to keep in mind. And we can see down here, we also have this base durability. So this is the base durability for each piece of armor that then gets multiplied with the durability multiplier. So that's the general idea. We can also see this right here in the durability. We get the base durability times the durability multiplier. All of this is really not that complicated. It is, I would say, actually fairly basic Java stuff in here. There's nothing too crazy. Once again, if anything is really complicated for you in terms of Java, I can once again highly recommend the Java introduction for Minecraft and Hightail modding that I've made. I will link it in the top right corner of the screen. I can just really advise you, you need some Java knowledge if anything is insanely complicated here. Whatever the case may be, let's think about this. So for our mithril, we're going to be right around gold once again. So we're going to change this to mithril and this to mithril as well. Let's say the durability multiplier is a little bit more, let's say closer to like maybe 16. And then the protection amounts are going to be 2, 5, maybe 7 here. And then a 2, that's fine. Enchantability, maybe even a little bit up. And then we're going to keep the equip here. We can also add toughness and knockback resistance that's usually reserved for the netherite armor, but we could add this. And then here, instead of the gold ingot, we're going to say mod items that mithril ingot. Now the rest can all be deleted. What's very important is once again, if you have multiple ones, they are separated by a comma and the last one ends with a semicolon. So that's just a normal everyday enum, basically. So you can see this one now ends with a semicolon. If I had another one, we would separate them with a comma and the last one would end with a semicolon or so nothing too crazy here right and all of the rest is pretty much can stay exactly the same way that it is because it's always going to be well very similar or in this case actually going to be always this so we're actually fine with this and now we can go into our mod items class and actually create the four armor items let's just copy over the pickaxe and i'm just going to change this to the mithril underscore helmet and then same here mithril underscore helmet there you go and this is going to be an armor item there you go and this actually as you can see takes an armor material an equipment slot and settings so let's just do this and then we're going to say the mod armor materials dot mithril and then the second one is the equipment slot head of course and then the normal fabric item settings and now we can actually copy this four times so then we have the chest plate and of course changing the name here as well very important so armor item is fine, mithril is fine, and then here, of course, it is chest. So that's very important that you change the equipment slot. That is a something that some people sometimes forget. And we have the leggings, and this is going to be the legs, of course. And then last but not least, we have the boots, and then here as well, and then changing the name, of course, and then this is going to be the feet equipment. And with that, all of our armor items are actually in-game. That's almost 
all that we need to do, at least in terms of the code. Now, of course, the JSON files are a completely different thing. So let's first of all, copy over the translation. This should be at this point, you know, very trivial. It's just everything, every time it's going to be the same thing, basically. Now, the item models themselves are also fairly straightforward. They are literally, once again, just the, well, normal item models. Nothing too crazy for this, so I'm going to copy this over once again. Like always, everything available to you in the description below, GitHub repository, and individual gist for you to copy over. And then when it comes to the textures, well, it pretty much is the exact same thing. We just have, well, the normal textures right here. So for texture, we're going to copy those over. But what you might ask right now is, but wait a second. What about how it is displayed in 3D when we actually have the armor on? Ah, very good. That we actually need a new folder for. In the assets folder, right click new directory called Minecraft. And then inside of there, we actually need to make the textures directory. And then inside of there, we need to make a new directory called models. And then inside of there, we need to make a new directory called armor. Uh, written in the American spelling, very important. And then I'm going to copy over the two files here. So this is going to be the mithril underscore layer underscore one and mithril underscore layer underscore two. Now, this is very important. Please note this. The name of this file has to be exactly written like this. Mithril. So this is the name given right here. This is the first word in this file. Underscore layer underscore one. No question marks, no dots, no nothing. This is the way that the file has to be named. Please note this and please make sure that it is written correctly. So the layer one is basically the, well, the top layer, so to speak. And then the bottom is, I believe, the leggings and the boots as well. So this is the general idea. So make sure that here, everything here is written correctly. It has to be a PNG file. It has to be the correct size. It can be bigger, I believe. So, so this, in this case, is actually a bigger file than the vanilla ones. But that's, of course, fine, as long as they're still... I believe there's still a power of two. That's the limiting factor there. And then also make sure that it's under assets, Minecraft, textures, models, armor, and then right here. And then you can add as many as you want. If you have multiple armor materials, that's of course no issue whatsoever. But this has to be written exactly like this. And that actually is all of the things that we need to add in order for armor to be in game. So I guess let's see if it works. All right. And as you can see, the armor has been added. So let's put it on. And there it is. The entire armor set works perfectly fine, just like you would expect it to. And it looks freaking amazing. All right. But that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So yeah.